Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, again, sorry if you see me with the makeup from last week, but I am on vacation as of right now, but not really right now because I'm in my room, but as in right now that this aired, so I'm probably just like walking around doing something fun, maybe drinking, acting ratchet. Probably acting ratchet. <laughs> this video was requested by a subscriber called Isabel, and um, she requested how I highlight and contour. So I'm gonna show you guys how I highlight and contour. Um, I only do this when I go to parties, just because I have like two different highlighting and contouring. I'm going to put a more natural look afterwards, but. This is just how I highlight and contour when I'm going to parties and I know I'm going to be taking lots of pictures with friends or when I go to events. So as you guys can see, it may come off a little bit too harsh on camera, but it really isn't that harsh at all. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to contour your cheeks, your forehead, and your nose and how to bronze everything to blend it in all together and you know down here and of course I'm gonna show you guys how I highlight or brighten up under my eyes my forehead down the bridge of my nose my cubic bill and my chin yeah. again it might seem like it is a lot or it is too much but this is just the way I contour and highlight my face when I go out to parties and events so I hope you guys enjoy this video bye okay so this is how my face looks when there's no highlight or contour and this is how it looks when there is highlight and contour and I'm gonna show you guys how to get that so I'm going to grab this concealer from MAC this is the Pro Longwear concealer and this is in NC42 and I'm gonna squirt just a little bit on my ring finger and just pass it on to my other ring finger and I'm going to place this right under my eye in a triangle motion and just keep placing it in I'm also going to be doing this on the other side of my eye Now I'm going to take this down the bridge of my nose, up to my forehead, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to grab this brush from Real Techniques, and this is a contour brush, but I use it to blend in my concealer because it works really well, and I'm going to blend it in a triangle motion, and just make sure there aren't no harsh lines. Still with the same brush, I'm going to blend in the concealer from the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And if you feel like the brush didn't do so good, you know, just pat it down with your ring finger. Look at that, it's already so bright under my eye, but I like to put a second layer. I know, don't blame me. It might seem like too much makeup, but hey, this is how I do it. I just apply it to the same exact brush I use to blend it in and I dab it again on those places and again with the same brush I blend it all out. You beauties could skip this step or not, I mean this makes everything so much more better for me but you know it's for your own liking, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So now I'm going to grab my Ben Now banana powder and I'm going to leave this link down below and I use two sponges. Well, it depends how I feel, so I sometimes use the circle one, I sometimes use the square one, but today I think I'm going to use the, not square, my go, the triangle one, and I'm going to place this under my eyes the same exact way as a triangle, in a triangle shape, and also I'm going to drag the line all the way up to my highlight. and. I also 
also place this on the bottom of my not the bottom but like on top of my chin area just because I also want to highlight that area you guys don't have to you don't want to but I feel like this helps the face structure a little bit more and I also add this on my chin my cupid's bow and down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead so don't forget those steps or I'll show you right now I use four type of bronzers, two dark and two to blend out. Um, apparently here I forgot one, but there's two dark ones there and I use two to blend and soften out the contour. Then I'm going to grab this brush from Bazillion Tools and this is in 990. I will link this down below. This brush is amazing. I got it for $12.99. No, I think cheaper on IMAX. Well, it will be linked down below. And as you guys can see, I'm carving out where my cheekbone is at. Um, you're going to want to do that fishy face if you want to find it, the hollows of your cheekbone. But if you're skinny and not chubby like me, I'm pretty sure you'll find them so much more faster than my chubby face self. Now using this bronze from NYX, I think this is medium tan, I'm not sure, it will be linked down below and this is just a angle brush that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't, it doesn't have a number or anything and I'm just going to use this to make sure the contour is blended out with the bronzer and getting the bronzer, the light bronzer, I'm going to bronze my forehead because my father was so generous to give me a 5 head instead of a forehead. So I just like to bronze it up that way it can look a little bit more smaller. Also we're going to go on the bottom of our jawline just to create a little hollow and our double chin would be able to hide under there. And I also like to bring down the bronzer a little to my neck just so it won't look so pale. Now um, we're going to contour our nose. Yeah. So grabbing the medium bronzer again and this little brush from Real Techniques. Uh, I don't know the name. I'll link it down below. But this is how we're going to contour our nose. So it's very self-explanatory. Just watch. It's very easy. You're going to want to be very light-handed with this. Not very heavy-handed. But yeah. Now we're going to clean it on anywhere you want. I just chose my hand. And without adding any more pro product, I'm just going to blend this in with the product that was there. Now I'm just going to grab this brush from Rite Aid. I'm um, pretty sure it retailed around $8.99. You just need any big fluffy brush. And we're going to use this to blend out the whole entire banana powder off our face. I'm using this brush from Real Techniques. This is a blush brush, but I use it for whatever the hell I want. You don't have to necessarily use brushes for what they're used for, what they're named for. You just use them for whatever you want. But I'm just going to grab this brush to blend everything together. And if I feel like I blended out too much of my bronzer, I'm going to go back in without adding any more product and just rebronze. And this should be how it should start looking not so much because we're going to add highlights and i'm using this highlight from hard candy in tiki and i absolutely love this highlight this is like i had this for years it's probably not good but i love it because the payoff still comes out like the first day i brought it so, so you guys can see i already have my makeup and everything and i'm just going to put this on the top of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose on my forehead on my cupid's bow and i think some on my cheek i'm not sure if i do it here but i usually do oh i mean my chin my girl and this is your final looks i hope you guys enjoy this video i will put a more natural one one i do on a day-to-day -day basis so thanks for watching bye